Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new here. If you are new, my name is Shan from Home with Shan over on Instagram and I'm really, really glad that you have come to join us for this video. This video has been really highly requested from you guys. I get so many messages on Instagram asking the same questions. But one of the biggest questions is how do I get my baby to sleep through the night? Generally, this is the main question that I get asked and how did I get George into a routine? Um, how did I get him to sleep through the night and when do I feed him and stuff? And how much do I feed him, etc, etc. So I just wanna start off this video by saying every baby is different. What George does is in no way the right thing to do. It's just what he does, you know, his body wants to do and the way Way that we've sort of I guess fed him throughout the day but it doesn't mean it's the right thing and just because you do these things that I do doesn't mean that your baby's going to react the same way so I just wanted to put that out there obviously every child is different and I'm just looking down there because George is down there on his um little Cali baby sleep thing I'll take a picture of him and insert it on the screen here so yeah he's just chilling down there um I'm only going to do a really, really quick video just to run through what we do in a day. I wrote everything down, what we did yesterday, and it followed like a really general pattern that we just do pretty much every day. So, first things first, two apps that I recommend you getting, and these were crucial for us. Firstly, the Baby Tracker app. This is available on iPhone, Android, and it's called Baby Tracker. I get so many questions about what baby tracker I use, and it's actually so simple, guys. It's just called Baby Tracker. Best, most simple app. You can sync different devices. It's just perfect. Definitely, definitely download that. Plus, it's free. If you want to pay for another app, it's called The Wonder Weeks and it's £3.99. It's really, really good for learning about developmental leaps, what each leap means for your baby, what to expect, what their behaviour is going to be like, all that kind of stuff. So I love that app as well. I, re I reluctantly downloaded it because I didn't want to pay the £3.99. I'm so cheap. But it has been so helpful and definitely worth the money in my opinion. <laughs> I basically taught you through his routine, but then the routine is the reason I think that he sleeps through the night, or we're just really lucky. Like, I don't know whether it's because we've done this routine throughout the day, or we're just really, really lucky, who knows? But I'm just gonna tell you what we do, and hopefully it kind of works for you, and if it doesn't work exactly the same way, then you'll find your own rhythm. Like, there's no right or wrong way of doing these kind of things, like, for sure. It tends to go from, like, 10 o'clock at night, or 11 o'clock at night, and then all the way to three to seven or eight. Um, and it's really weird, like on a Saturday, without fail, he won't wake up until 8 o'clock. I'm like, do you know it's a weekend? Like, how are you such a smart baby? <laughs> I'm very, very grateful for that. It's obviously just a fluke, but you know what? I'm not mad at it. So one of the most important things that I've learned is the better they sleep through the day, the better they'll sleep through the night, which is really weird. I always thought, obviously, if they sleep less in the day, they'll sleep through the night, but that's just not the case at all. So definitely don't like stop your baby from sleeping in the day because it's just really important for them to get good naps in obviously baby sleep a lot in the early days they sleep a lot so actually i should have mentioned this george is now 10 weeks old so this is a 10 week old baby routine at six weeks it was completely different and then at you know three weeks it was completely different as well but the same rule has applied when it comes to feeding pretty much consistently and it's always really helped her he started sleeping through like really early i'd say like six weeks and even before that he was only getting up once and that was at three o'clock so let me talk to you about how we feed him throughout the day so if you guys follow me on instagram you will know that i do the 3 7 11 3 7 11 rule or at least i did he still wakes up at seven or around seven feed him straight away then 11 then three or right there or around like if it's half three or half 11 like it's not that big of a deal but 7 11 3 and then 7 and then 11 or again there or thereabouts four hours between like if he wakes up at eight obviously like that will change and if he's hungry at like three and a half hours i'll feed him at three and a half hours it's just a guideline it's a rule so yeah if he's hungry i'll feed him but he's never hungry before like the three and a half hour mark after his last feed so we'll tend to do that and then he's going through the night so from 11 o'clock that 11 o'clock feed like the dream feed i guess dream feed just means by the way i never knew this before i was a mum i've heard of it but i never knew that it actually meant this the dream feed just means the last feed like before they go to sleep and it's just to get them to go to sleep feeding them to sleep basically that's all that means basically you've go from 11 o'clock all the way till 7 o'clock or sometimes 8 o'clock without any food and sleep through the night and that's it pretty much. 
I would just say, when it comes to the developmental leaps, he didn't sleep through the night, so he would wake up once. He wouldn't need feeding, he was just like, I don't know what it was, he was just agitated, fidgety, and I think he's actually also teething, which is ridiculous, he's only 10 weeks old, like I didn't think that would even happen, but I can definitely feel teeth, like through his gums, and he's like munching on everything, so yeah, didn't know that could happen, but some babies do apparently teeth a little bit earlier than others, so got an early teether on our hands, guys. So, yes, we do the 3, 7, 11, etc, etc. That's the rule that we do. At the moment, we're not doing the night feed because he's not wanting it, he's not getting up. So that's amazing. We feed him as a 10-week-old baby. He's about 10, 11 pounds. We are feeding him every four hours, six ounces of feed, or at least we're offering him six ounces of feed. Most of the time, he will drink six ounces other than the last feed where he only has like half of it but i still offer him six just in case i don't know it's a little bit wasteful but sometimes he does have it so yeah i just kind of offer it to him and hope that he will drink it but most of the other times he does drink all the six ounces and you know what i'm never that bothered about whether he finishes a bottle or whether he doesn't i just want to make sure at the end of the 24 hour period he's had a certain amount and i read somewhere and i don't know whether this is right so don't like come at me but I read somewhere for his age, uh, the weight he is and everything, if he's having at least 22 ounces per day, it's all good. But he's averaging about 24, between 24 and 28 ounces a day, I think. Sometimes he has like 32 ounces. I'm like, where are you putting that? It's ridiculous. But you know what? He's happy, he's healthy, he's putting on weight. I'm, I'm, I'm glad, so. <laughs> So yeah, when it comes to feeding um, at 11 o'clock, that's probably what I would say the most important thing is to feed him like right before he goes to sleep, but also to make sure that he's had enough throughout the day. I definitely think if they're filling up throughout the day, a good amount of food per feed, or at least if they're not having like a lot one feed, they're having a lot the next feed, that kind of thing. But yeah, I just think it's really important to make sure that they're having the right amount of food throughout the day, and then they might not want it throughout the night and they might sleep through the night, which is obviously what we want. Another way that I got him to sleep through the night, I would say, is to get his energy out in the day. So he's, he's wide awake at the moment. I'm sat here doing a video, which is not what I should be doing. I should be playing with him. I should be stimulating him. I've only got like two more minutes left of this video. So I'm just going to rattle through the next couple of things. And then we're going to go and do some tummy time and some play time. That's, norm that's pretty much what we normally do. We normally, he normally wakes up, first feed. Then he'll go straight to sleep, like for half an hour, 45 minutes. I'll normally get up and get ready and everything. And the next time he wakes up, that's like, playtime like full on this is now his playtime so i feel really guilty i'm not gonna lie but he's gonna be up for the next couple of hours so we've got plenty of time to go downstairs put the dancing crew on the telly on youtube that is a really really good asset by the way if you didn't see my newborn day in the life of the newborn i put it on there it's called hay sensory or hay bear or something like that just type it in type dancing fruit into youtube such a good asset put that on the screen he's obviously like following all the sensory all like the contrast between the bright colors of the fruit and the black screen we have like little rattles and things that he's actually clinging on to now and like basically just stimulating him as much as we possibly can he just loves it it's when he's at his best like when he's wide awake he's liking things he's smiling like every now and then i think he's gonna laugh but i don't know i haven't heard a proper laugh yet but he's smiling and he's kicking his arms and he's you know and even just you putting your like you don't need any of these like ridiculous toys or anything you can just like put your face like near his and like you know smile and like make noises and stuff and they just absolutely love it but just getting all of that energy um, burnt out of him basically and then he'll have a really long nap after that session like you'll know when it's coming to like the end of the session because he'll start to get a little bit agitated like I think probably overly stimulated. After playtime we normally give him a feed we will feed him at either like half 10 11 mark so yeah that's that's then when he goes to sleep so when, when he's getting like fidgety and stuff that's she. I don't know if you heard that, but it was the cutest little steez ever. When he's getting like fidgety and agitated and stuff, and that's when I know he's hungry, then that feed will actually send him to sleep, and that's when he'll have a really long sleep. That is a really good crucial nap for, for us anyway, because one, we get to do stuff around the house, but two, because he's slept well in the day, plus he's burnt his energy, we know that he's gonna have a really good night's sleep and he's gonna sleep through the night, which is honestly, is that not the goal for all of us? Like to get our babies to sleep through the night and just be happy and 
to get enough rest for ourselves so that we can, you know, enjoy playing with them and all that kind of stuff um, the following day, I guess. And then he literally sleeps until like half past two most days, I would say. And then he literally gets up, you know, has a little like smile on his face and then it's almost three o'clock, which is his next feed anyway. So it's like he has a really long sleep after his feed, after playtime, long nap pretty much until the next feed. He'll be up for like half an hour, 45 minutes before we feed him, feed him again, um, and then he'll be like nice and content, he'll be awake. We can like not really play with him, not like as full on as the morning session, but like we'll just stimulate him, like look at him, talk to him, that kind of thing. He'll be awake, he'll be completely content and just happy just watch the world go by actually. But yeah, after his three o'clock feed, he'll just be awake, like I said, and then probably he'll go to sleep again about like five, which is great because then we can have our dinner, just put the white noise on give him a dummy and he will calm down a little bit hey guys Shannon from the future here and um, something really basic that I completely forgot to include in this video was white noise oh my god white noise is our savior the reason that I've just remembered it is because I've just had to do it it's about half past four and George has been awake for a long time and just it was really agitated he wasn't hungry he wasn't like his nappy's been changed he wasn't hungry he wasn't bored he was tired and he would not sleep and for some reason i don't know what it is why babies have to fight their sleep when they're tired so clearly tired white noise is our savior so i use spotify to blast just a either white noise or hair dryer sound or something like that he conks out straight away just have that full pelt in his ear done gone to sleep or i have white noise on his you in the dream sheep that works wonders during the night time we have the you in the dream sheep deluxe i'll link it down below in the description box it's the one that you set to go off every time it hears a baby like struggling or crying or cooing or something like that it just goes off in the night you don't have to get up you don't even hear it i never hear it go off but i know i've woken up once and i've been like oh it's on and i don't have to get up for george ewan's doing the job for me so that's perfect i never used to recommend it because i didn't know that it had that feature since i've been using the automatic like where it sets off automatically love it so yeah white noise is an absolute must cannot believe i forgot it in this original video but if you can't get you in if you can't afford you in then definitely 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 just get spotify or itunes or just an app that you can play white noise from for free it works wonders and that will help you get good night's sleep trust me <laughs> sending you back to the original video now bye guys and then he'll have another nap in the evening at some point and then he's awake again you know just loving the world like looking at the doors and stuff he just he's obsessed with doors i don't know why george is obsessed with doors but he is he's obsessed with them obsessed and then when it gets to like 11 o'clock that's probably just roughly like when we would want to go to sleep anyway or at least one of us we'll stay up for the 11 o'clock feed get him to sleep by feeding him essentially so that's like what the dream feed is he'll normally only drink like three ounces of that maybe four hops but he's like conked out like he's just like milk like dribbling down his <laughs> He's not drinking all of that, no chance. Every now and then, occasionally, like he'll drink all of it. I'm like, oh, okay, you're really hungry. But again, that's probably when he's going through like a leap, when he's going through a growth spurt or something. But yeah, he's not in one at the moment. So he's just uh, very predictable, which is lovely. Um, yeah, and we'll feed him at that 11 o'clock mark. Um, probably take like half an hour to get him through like three ounces because he's so slow when he's tired but i want to give it make sure i give him that feed one because he gets him to sleep two because i know if he has that food then he will definitely sleep through the night and only when he's one had his immunizations he wasn't that great in the night obviously because he's you know poorly legs he's just got needles stuck into them plus he's probably got a dodgy tummy from one of them and he's probably got like a temperature from the other one although cow pole is a lifesaver i'm not gonna lie other than that guys that's literally all we do and i have to say we are probably just really lucky like it's probably nothing to do with what we're doing and we're just lucky because george is a really good baby like at the moment obviously like he hasn't fully got into the swing of teething and i'm sure like when teething really really kicks in like our lives will change and he's not going to be sleeping through the night who knows but at the moment we are getting enough sleep and i'm very very happy he's a happy little boy you know i just thought i would share it with you because i get a lot of questions on instagram asking the same question and i just thought i would just do a little sit down chat with you guys tell you what we do and i really hope it works for you if it doesn't work for you and you do something completely different and your baby is sleeping through the night hit it down in the comments down below guys because people will love it people really want to know this stuff because let's face it it's hard like i didn't know any of that before one of my main things the 3 7 11 rule without that i don't know what we would have done i'm so glad that we did that don't know whether it worked because of that like i keep saying probably i don't know 
let me know let me know if it works for you let me know if something else works for you because do you know what i mean every baby's different every baby is so different anyway guys i really hope you enjoyed this video sorry it was a really quick one i'm gonna go and play with george now because i feel I i've got mum guilt i'm not gonna lie i am gonna go and play with him i'm really hoping that you guys are getting some sleep i really hope that this helps a little bit if not some other people will help you out down in the comments i know they will because we've got a really good community here love you guys bye